Hello guys, today we're going to learn some really cool Google search tricks. And this is part one of the of the Google search tricks videos. If you want to see part two, um, just visit the website that should be appearing on the screen right now and just enter your name and email and I will send you part two straight to your inbox. So the first trick we're going to learn is, let's say you want to track a flight status. All you have to put is put the company name. I'm going to use Delta as an example and you have to put the flight number. So I'm going to put uh, 456. Let's see that's flight and it is and it tells you departure time when it should be arriving and from where to where is it going and it tells you if it's on schedule or not and the next thing we're going to look at is called the Google Cache system and what's so cool about Google Cache is that you can pretty much use it as a way to unblock any website you want so let's say you want to go to Mashable.com and Mashable is a really cool site that talks about social media news and also web stuff so let's say at school or at the workplace it's not working, all you have to do is type in Mashable and over here there should be a little cached button. All you have to do is click on cached and pretty much cache is it's Google, um, uh, the Google robots they go all over the web and they save the website into their index. So basically when they cache the site pretty much it's them saving the site because if you look up here it did not say mashable.com it says some other domain name it says webcache.googleusercontent.com and that's pretty much the Google index right there. And the next thing we're going to do is set up some Google alerts. And what's so cool about Google Alerts is, let's say you want to get notified if news on a particular thing or if a certain term gets um, written about on the web and you want to get notified about it, you can set up a Google Alert. So let's say you want to get notified um, every time there's something new about Apple, the Apple company. So let's put Apple here and you could put um, the type of sources you want to get notified from, you can put everything or you can even limit it down to discussions or maybe news or blogs and how often you want to get notified and even the volume if you only want the best results or any result and what um, I'm going to deliver it to. And once it's done with that, just click on create the alert and this thing will have the alert created. And if you don't want that alert, if you want to edit it, just click on edit. And once you're done, just click on save. And let's say you want the um, let's say you don't want the alert anymore. All you have to do is um, go here and delete it, and then the alert will be over. See, you have no more alerts, and you can just make a new one by clicking on creating one. And the last thing we're gonna do is let's say you want to find edu or websites. All you have to do is go to Google. I'm gonna use over here so search um, bar and just type site, and then put colons the quoting sign and in quotes you're gonna have to put um a search term I'm gonna put tech and then for, uh, finish it off quote quotes oops sorry you have to put um if you want ed or the graph sites right here so once more it's site followed by colon dot gov and then put a space and then put the search term inside quotes and this will do is to find every single site that ends in .gov. So you want to get any .com or .net domain names, and they, and they must say tech in the name or inside the site. So let's click on search, and you can see here, you got only .gov sites, and it says tech on it. And you can do the same thing for edu sites. So let's go here, same edu sites, so if you want .com sites or .net or .org, same thing would work. So this is part one of the video. For part two, just go to the link that should be displaying on the video right now or click, um, if you're on YouTube, click the link on the description of this video. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out part two.